Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. I'm here today to let you know the books I'm thinking of reading in May. So here is my May TBR. I have a lot of books on this list, as I usually do, and I think I'll divide them based off of if they're nonfiction, YA, J fiction, etc. I think I'll first start with my nonfiction. I just started Mistranslations by Soap and Dub. I'm really excited about this one. It's all a memoir of the author talking to his parents who are of South Asian descent, going away from all of the silence that sometimes he feels like South Asian families have around them. I also want to read Start by Believing. This is a story of USA Gymnastics and Larry Nassar. I've heard podcasts, I've watched like documentaries and news clippings of it. I haven't read a book about it. This is a case that is really powerful to me and one that I always want to hear more from the victims. If you heard the NPR podcast that is about this case, I mean that podcast tore me to shreds and I just cried all the time. So I'm ready to do that to myself again. I really like just seeing victims speak for themselves and I hope that this is what this book will provide more of. If you watch my channel, you know that I, I do like reading accounts of people who have gone through sexual assault and sexual violence and how they rise from that. I just like reading depressing things, I guess. I also would like to read The Heartbeat of Wounded Knee. I have the audiobook and I think that I want to read the ebook as I'm listening to the audiobook. This is a history of Native Americans here in the United States from the perspective of Native Americans. I've heard really good things about it. I heard about it through the booktube prize and seeing some people read it and enjoy it. So I definitely have it on my radar. I also want to read I Miss You When I Blink, which are essays and I am excited for this. It's supposed to be really relatable um, to today's day and age. So I'm ready for that one and I'm going to listen to that one on audiobook. I also want to read Yellowbird, which is a nonfiction account from the perspective of a Native American woman trying to solve some murders that happened on a reservation. And there's also like oil situations involved. I think one of the subtitles is like oil murder. So that also comes into play in this book as well. So I'm excited to read that one and I'm also getting that one on audiobook. I also want to read Why Fish Don't Exist. These are like short essay kind of, it's supposed to be a little bit part memoir and part journalism and it's from an NPR journalist and that one I got through Libro FM. One nonfiction I'm really really excited about is called This Is All I Got and this one I just uh, was just released like a few days ago and I heard about it on New York Times books. So I got it through audiobook and it looks at experiencing homelessness in New York City. It was a journalist who looked into this one mom and son and kind of followed them around through the city for a year as she's trying to get back into school and take care of her son and all of this red tape and difficulty of going through homeless shelters. Okay, as for a juvenile fiction, I have quite a few. I really want to read another Stacey McAnulty. I really love her books. I've only read her picture books and I've read The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl, which I loved when I read. So I want to read The World Ends in April. My goal was to read this in April, but that didn't happen. So my goal was to read it in May. Um, it's supposed to do with like an asteroid coming really close. I just Hope that it has that same charm and whimsy. I don't even 100% know if it has to do with an asteroid. I think that's just what the cover has. <laughs> so I'm excited for this one and I hope it's got the same uh, narrative voice and style that I love so much from The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl. I also have Efren Divided on here. This is a new release. I've been hearing a lot about it and my audiobook finally came in. So I'm going to listen to this one. It is about family separation at the border and I think it's going to be really strong and powerful. I've liked everything that I've heard the author talk about in different book fests and webinars that I've watched so far in the past month or so. I also really want to read Ghost Squad. My audiobook should be coming in relatively soon and should be able to read it in May. And this looks at Dominican folklore and um, it has to do with a sibling relationship. They live in like an, a haunted house too. So that sounds really fascinating and interesting. And again, it, this is another author that like the author of Efren Divided I've seen a lot in the past month or so trying to get their books out there during this pandemic so i'm excited to read that one. Oh, i also have two books that i got through edelweiss and i got them during middle grade magic i believe and i haven't finished either of them i'm just really not good at ebooks i'm much better at 
eat audiobooks. One of them is Echo Mountain and this I am maybe 250 pages into it so I only have 100 pages left. I am on hold for the audiobook though because I do think that that would propel me to finish it more quickly. This one focuses on a family who's living in the Great Depression and they've moved from the city to the mountains and are kind of living a new life. It's really mostly about being wild and being out in the wilderness and the main character meets a boy who has been living in the mountains longer than she has and they're kind of sparking a friendship. And then another one that I got through middle grade magic was the one and only Bob and I started it for my, you saw that in my last vlog that I made, but I found out that Danny DeVito is the voice of the audiobook for Bob so I'm kind of like, I don't know if I want to read the ebook when I can just listen to the audiobook and have Danny DeVito narrate it. That sounds like really like a lot more fun of a way to take in the story. I feel like I'm gonna hold off on that one and see and hopefully my audiobook comes in in the month of May. Then I also have three more juvenile fiction. One is called Black Brother Black Brother. This one is a newer release and it's about two brothers, one who is white passing and one who is a lot darker. Kind of social situations that they face um, because of their skin color. I believe that there's like a mentorship involved in it as well where the darker skinned brother learns about this guy who's a fencer and there's fencing in this book which I think is really cool. You know I love fencing in fiction so I also have Chains by Laurie House Anderson. I'm hoping to buddy read this one in May but it'll be probably towards more the end of May as we are starting curbside very soon and I need to get my head in the game before I give lots of focus to Chains which is also only available on ebook. I can't find it on on e audiobook so I'm gonna have to read it and then finally the last juvenile fiction that I have on my list is framed and this is one that I just heard about recently it's supposed to be like a heist mystery sort of story it just looked like something that would be a lot of fun for me to read it during this time so it's also one that is currently on the shelves of my library so when we go back into the building next week you best believe I am snatching it same with a few of these that are on my list they are actually on the shelves right now and um, I'll be first into the library so I'll be the first to be able to pick them out so that's exciting hashtag perks i think that's it for juvenile fiction and then i have a few ya so one of them is and i'm looking down because that's where my list is one of them is yes no maybe so and this is by aisha saeed and becky albertalli i've only read one other becky albertalli i read love simon and i thought it was really cute and this one i do believe has to do with politics and like going door to door canvassing and stuff like that so that sounds interesting i do like books that have politics in them. I also have Clap When You Land on here by Elizabeth Acevedo is coming out in May. I've read every single Elizabeth Acevedo that's come out so far so I'm ready for a new one. Two sisters meet and it goes from there. And then adult books, I think I only just have a couple. Let's see. I have The Holdout and I have that one checked out already and this one has some of the buzzwords that kind of attract me to it. So it's a thriller and it's looking at a jury. There's one holdout on the jury and that person brings everybody else over to their side. Just some things that pulled me to it is it's got kind of like a social justice vibe to it but there's also like a true crime documentary or podcast involved as well and that's also also pulling me in and then the other one that I have on here is called Pretty Things and this one is a heist story and it's supposed to be about a scammer and an heiress they're coming together to do some bad things but I've heard that it's really exciting yeah I think that I need something mindless and exciting like that sometimes so I think that's it for all of the books that I would like to read in May things are starting to go back to normal or the new normal um, of doing curbside delivery at the library so May might be a little bit different for me. I haven't been making all the videos that I mean I've been planning all these videos but I haven't really been sitting down and filming them just the, the drive hasn't been in there the ambition hasn't been in there for me to like record and edit these videos so I hope that you've been doing well I hope that you have fun reading plans for May and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!